This is a quick tutorial to show you how you would go about joining a scaffold elevation or section and join it with a background image. You normally go through the, the setup as per normal and you can then bring in the background image as per normal so that's build insert overlay image and I'm going to bring in the plan which is this one so we have a back background plan and I can just zoom into any particular area just follow the prompts at the bottom of the screen as normal and uh, click on two points to scale your background image so that scale factor is 11150 this is in millimeters so just click on the two points and type in 11150 press enter then from here I can use the normal modify clip image select the border to clip press enter a couple of times and then basically you can remove the area of the drawing that you don't want shown so we can remove we can just create a window just a simple window of the background image okay so now that we have this background image as normal we can build scaffold around it you can use the normal build plan draw perimeter uh, draw line I'm just going to abbreviate this and do a, a build make new wall so I'm just going to do a 1.2 meter wall and let's just go from this point to this point okay so uh, there we have our wall then from here we can say build section and we can actually uh, create a section or define a section uh, normally in this case you would use define section the other method of doing it is to use fast edit click on obey add section and uh, we'll just select all the default options and uh, we'll just call it elevation 2 you can do an end, end view or a face view it doesn't matter it works both ways click on OK and here we have our section marker that's the first step so now that we have our background image with our scaffold plan all we need to do is now build 3D so I can click on the build 3D icon say yes to both prompts build 3D so it's actually created a block with the section marker from here we can actually bring in the actual side view in the same way so we can go, go to iSCAF build insert overlay image and we can click on the actual side view we can zoom into the area and again we can scale this so let's just click on two points again just follow the prompts at the bottom of the screen 2590 2590 press enter and that's now scaled as well now we just can just move this to the side now we've got two images together so we just click on the little move command which is the standard AutoCAD move command and we want to actually move this one over like that just like before modify clip image click on the border press enter a couple of times okay so now we just need to choose where we want to actually show our uh, side view so again we're going to crop out what we don't want to see so um, let's just do uh, this area here which we'll say is elevation 2 and then from here we can say iSCAF plot setup insert the section so because we've built 3d with the section marker we have section AA saved as a block so following that menu option we can bring this in and put it together with our background 
scroll the mouse wheel and just zoom in. To maybe something like that and just drop it down so here we have our side view from here we can actually join the actual background image with the section to be shown on our drawing sheet to make it look professional on a drawing to do this go to build section join section image follow the prompts at the bottom of the screen it says select the section which is basically the scaffold elevation then it says select the object so click on the border of the actual image and then right click to say you've finished that so that's actually done that so from here we can actually go to our A4 sheet now Go to iSCAF, Plot Setup, Layout Drawing Sheet. Remembering at the bottom at the bottom of the page we have the predefined setup of all the different sheet sizes. So you've got the model space and you've got all the different sheet sizes. I've selected A4. So back to Plot Setup again. And uh, as normal, just type in the client details. Drawing number one, click OK. So here we have our, our normal layout with our title block, which can be customized, company logo there as well. And then from here, we can insert the plan. And again, this is pretty much normal as part of the normal uh, procedure. Okay, so I've got a pretty big image here. So if you don't like that, it's a little bit too big, we can actually erase that. Reinsert it. So once again, it's plot setup, insert section plan, plan 2D. I'm going to insert it 1 to 200. So zoom in there, it's a little bit clearer. We can right click to repeat the last command. This time we're going to actually insert the actual elevation. And there's our joined section image. Now we can annotate this drawing as normal, uh, change the darkness, change the line thickness, as per normal and also we have a title block at the bottom of our screen so that's a quick tutorial on how you would go about joining a background image with your scaffold